entrepreneurial side of a side hustle that can still bring you decent amount of money so without further ado let's jump into this video <laughs> all right guys before we dive right in and I give you all these awesome ideas don't forget if you enjoy this video and this content to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy my content period and you like my vlogs don't forget to subscribe and while you're at it you might as well hit that notification bell because so you won't miss a video because why would you want to miss the video right right okay so let's talk money. <laughs> All right. So my first place written down in my handy dandy little notebook here is um, one actually one of my favorites. I love it because it's a couple way. There's two different ways where you can make money, and one um, way I feel is super genius. So my first um, my first money making opportunity is Airbnb. We're never home. Flight attendants. We travel on our days off. We travel for work. We're never home. So if you have a spacious home and you would like to rent it out when you are away on trips or if you um, have an extra room and you want to just rent it out, it's a perfect way you have an extra, you have a, um, a property that you, you know, you haven't used in a while. Fix it up, turn it into an Airbnb. People come in, people travel everywhere and they're always looking for ways to save and I feel like people check Airbnbs like they, Airbnbs like they check hotels. It's a great way to make money. Um, you don't necessarily have to be there to check in your guests or to check them out. Um, you can always hire a cleaning crew. It's really super hands off. You don't really have to be there to make money off Airbnb. Another way that you can make money off Airbnb requires nothing almost. It just requires you to have a post and an email account and a bank account. Um, you can become an ambassador for Airbnb, which is basically you invite other people to list their houses or their properties on Airbnb you get a referral fee and you can make anywhere from $100 to you know $3,000 a month or more it just depends on how many people you bring into bring on to Airbnb and I feel like as flight attendants or frequent travelers we meet tons of people from different walks of life that have extra space why not turn those encounters into money-making opportunities for you because guess what the struggles real. <laughs> All right, um, my next money-making opportunity is Toro. So if you, um, you're going to be traveling a lot, you have a car, a nice car, a decent car. I think it has to be, I want to say 2010 or higher. You can list it on Toro. Toro is kind of like Airbnb for cars. You rent out your cars um, for days at a time and people pay you whatever you you know request or whatever but it's a great way to bring in money and depending on the type of car you can make anywhere from five hundred to three thousand dollars a month or if you have more than one car you know it's just a great way to make money um but if you you know you're not going to be using your car anyway why not rent it out and let someone else take care of it and enjoy your your car when you're out flying and traveling the world um my next one is start a youtube channel now do i have a youtube channel yes do I love my YouTube channel? Yes. Is it making me money? No. Not yet. Will it? Eventually. Maybe. Who knows? Um, I enjoy doing it. I love YouTube. I love making vlogs. Um, it's a hobby that, um, you know, if it did happen to turn into money, it would be um, amazing. But if not, I'm kind of just enjoying the ride as is now. Um, YouTube does offer offer opportunities for you to make money without even having any videos on your YouTube channel. I didn't go that route. Um, I'm not really looking to make, you know, make a lot of money or make any money off YouTube. I'm kind of just enjoying the experience and I'm here for the ride. I love interacting with people and I love vlogging. But if you are into, you know, you, you do want to turn your hobby into um, a career, YouTube is a great way to do that. 
Um, we all know of someone who is making millions of dollars a year um, on YouTube. If we don't know them personally, we know of them or we watch their videos. It's a great way to make money. Um, it is time consuming, but it is what you make it. Um, I, I love doing it, so it's not... I don't consider it a job or like a hassle it's more of a hobby to me I really enjoy it so you know if you like vlogging or you like um, you know expressing yourself on <laughs> camera YouTube is a great opportunity to make money and um, it is a slow hustle but um, I feel like the return is gonna be great so start a YouTube channel it's awesome <laughs> this one is Upwork oh my gosh I love Upwork why? Because I suck at computers and there are people out there that I can pay to do amazing computer things for me. So if um, you are great with computers and you can web design or you graphic design or um, you know you can do anything similar that Upwork is a great opportunity. Um, definitely get on there. I know I use Upwork all the time. So there's pe I, I'm pretty sure people aren't hurting for money on there. And once again you set your price. There's a baby crying under me. That's weird. It's weird to be like up here. Anyway, um, set your prices. Uh, I know some people, they list, you know, if their price is negotiable, depending on the work, but you can have a certain price. It's a great way to bring in money, doing what you already know how to do, and you don't even have to leave your house and you're bringing in extra income. Upwork is a great way to bring money. And I want more people to be on Upwork because I need y'all. I really do. I need y'all the most, okay? So if you were good with computers, go to Upwork. You go to go take all the money. You're gonna take all of it, I promise. Um my next one is like um online stores. Online stores, e-commerce is a great way to make money. And I do feel like it requires a little bit more elbow grease than the rest of um the things that I mentioned because um if you want to brand the products like you want them to be your own you have to find a manufacturer and you know you have to go through that process but if you want to do something as far as just reselling which means you know you buy a product and you put it on Amazon SD uh, Postmark those type of um, platforms and you just resell it for whatever price you think is fair and if someone agrees you know they buy it or whatever it's a great way to make money on things that you know are gently used or brand new things that you bought when you went to China and was like, oh, this is amazing. And then you got home and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to use this for? Put it on Amazon. Put it on Poshmark. Put it on SD. Like, there's places for that. It's a great way to bring in money. You can get rid of things that you don't use or you can spend your time, you know. I have buyer's remorse all the time. I go to the store. I'm like, oh, I love this. I love this. This is going to be great. And then it sits in my closet for like four weeks and I'm like, okay, probably shouldn't have bought that you know if I was smart I would put it online and sell it this is me passing along my knowledge to you <laughs> um what else okay so I do have some really uncommon unthought about unusual things to make money as well um they're completely legal though so get your mind out of the gutter um the first one is donating plasma I think donating plasma is a great way to make money because um you can also help save a life. You become a humanitarian, you know. You know, you're giving back. It's a way to give back and put money in your pocket. Um, I've never personally donated plasma before. Um, but I do know that, you know, if you just need a little, if you're in a cash crunch, you can donate plasma and it'd be great. Um, guys, you can donate sperm. I think that's only about $50 a pop. So I wouldn't say, you know, run out to the nearest uh, fertility bank. But, you know, if you need money you know it's a it's an opportunity to make money if you're really crunched it's a way to get a few extra you know whatever you need women um i haven't done this but i did do some research into it um and i just decided not to do it because i haven't had kids yet and i just don't know if it'll like affect me negatively if i do decide to have kids later in life but you can donate your eggs. We have hundreds of eggs. Um, and when you donate them, you usually donate about five. It is like a four to six month process, I want to say. Um, but you can make anywhere from $2,000 to $8,000.
depending on your genetics, depending on um, certain features that you have, depending on um, you know if you graduated college, where you grew up, all those things factor into how much you make. But I think you'll know how much you'll be getting before you start the process. Um, and I'm gonna mention these things, but I don't really, really super recommend them. Um, just because I personally don't believe in having two jobs, feel like if you're gonna work for one company, if you have another source of income, it should can be it should be completely going into your pocket. Um, but I'll mention these other things because some people do enjoy these things, and I do know flight attendants or um, pilots that do you know have these types of side jobs. Of course, you can be a bartender or a server or just get a part-time job. I do feel like schedule conflicts would happen eventually, especially when you're just starting out and you're on reserve. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily suggest a second job. Um, I definitely would do something that's completely online and that would go only in my pocket. But if you enjoy those things or you already have a job and they're willing to work with your other schedule, that's awesome. Keep it up. Um, and before I end the video, I'm just going to name a few other things that are super common, but I didn't really want to mention them. Um, I kind of went back and forth because I just feel like being a flight attendant or having a job is already a lot of hard work and I don't like, hey, what's going on, sir? What's going on? Yeah, okay, all right, it's okay, it's just a car. Um, but I'm going to mention them anyway. Um, you can always do Uber, Lyft, Postmate, um, Post, Postmates, DoorDash, um, Uber Eats all those delivery type things you can do it on your days off or if you're on reserve and you just don't know you know like if they're gonna call you you have your bags and stuff packed in your car and um you know you just uber or lyft or do uber eats until they call you it's a great way to make money um and it goes directly in your pocket it's not like having a, a second job but i do feel like it requires a lot of your time and energy um if that interests you, that's a great way to bring in money. I know people that strictly just do Uber and Lyft and they live comfortably. So if you already have a job and you're just doing it for a side hustle, it's a great way to bring in money. That's about it, guys. Um, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you guys next week.